Welcome to Electrosonics product engagement session. My name is Kamil Mirmutala, and as you guys have seen in most of the previous videos, I've been using the toolbar on the side of the Max Hub, and in this quick video, I would like to show you how easy and simple it is to use during your presentation. Take a few minutes and let me show you how. You can walk up to the board and when you touch the board, you'll notice that the arrows will appear on either side of the board. When you select it, the toolbar will appear. You can move it up and down, depending if you're tall or short. Well, I'm going to go through the first three options. The back, the home and the cascade. Follow me on this. I'm going to select more and maybe open up Microsoft Edge. Now that we have Microsoft Edge open, as you can see, we can browse through the internet. I'm going to simply select the back button. What happened was Microsoft it literally went one step back. Next, I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge again. And this time, I'm going to select the home button. Once we've selected the home button, as the viewers can see, it's taken us, or the Max Hub has taken us back to the home page. The next option is the cascade option. Now, on the cascade option, we have seen this on our mobile phones, where we are able to open up and see all the applications that are in our history. And at this point, we have the power to either go into that application or close it. And at this case, as you guys have seen, I've opened up Microsoft Edge. I'm simply going to close it. Or if I want to go back to the whiteboard where I was working on previously, I simply can and of course continue. And next, I'm simply going to call out the toolbar and select the home page again. All right, you've been through the first three. Next is the widgets. Now, on the widget side, we're going to have a separate video where I'm going to dive into each one of these options. But just quickly to run through them, at this point you have the option to jump into a calendar, your camera. You can either you can do a screen share, you can have your timer up, you can do a poll kit for voting, you can also take notes, screenshots, and of course the famous screen recorder. Yes, you are able to record from this device. Screen control. We also have the ability and the control, of course, on the brightness and, of course, on the volume. And lastly, we have the notification area. This is the area where we will get all of the important notifications from MaxUp for updating, etc. To close this, simply tap away. The next option is, of course, the annotation option. I'm going to quickly select the annotation option on the home page, and I'm able to annotate anywhere on the page. I'm also able at this point to share the information via a QR code scanner. I can save the information either on a memory card or on the actual hard drive. Or lastly, I can email this to anybody inside the meeting or anybody outside of the meeting. Lastly is the connection. As you guys have seen before, we can connect other devices to the Max Hub. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect or share Sean's laptop to the display or to the Max Hub. Once we've done this, remember the annotation I worked with just a step earlier? I'm going to select the annotation again. And this time, I'm going to choose the color red. I'm going to highlight over the PC. I'm going to choose the color green. I'm going to highlight over the Android. And of course, lastly, I'm going to choose the color blue and annotate over the last two icons. And as you can see, again, we have the option to either scan the QR code, save to, or email out. And remember, this is Sean's laptop that I connected to. Once I've emailed or shared all the annotations off, I simply hit the home button, and there you have it. We're back to the home page. Thank you again for joining me, and hope to see you guys soon when we can cover more inside the widgets.